Steve, are you gay? <laughs> Jamie, for the last time, I did not know you were in the shower. <laughs> this time, I'm talking about this. Honeyberry ale? Uh, let me explain. Let hey, me explain. hey, I got no problem with it. Just don't mix your porno with my porno. <laughs> No, I got it because my old college roommate is coming back into town, and I just want him to think that I'm successful. Steve, say no more. Hint received. It's all right. You can borrow my dollar sign medallion. Junior, behave yourself! The thing with my old roommate is that he was such a competitive jerk. Yeah. You know? He made everything a big contest to see who was better. Well, there's none of that petty competition between you and me. We know who the winner is. <laughs> hey, it's a letter from my old prep school, Wingate Academy. You went to a prep school? Yeah. Haven't you ever heard of affirmative action? <laughs> they want me to teach a master class in drama. What? Why would they want you? Well, I may have puffed up my credentials a tad bit in the alumni survey. <laughs> How puffy. You're looking at a Tony Award winning director on Broadway. <laughs> to have you here, Mr. Coleman. Is there anything Mr. Hayward or I can do to make your stay more pleasant? Yes, Coleman. We have a brand new library. Perhaps you'd like to burn that one down, too. <laughs> well, I think I have everything that I need, Headmistress LeClaire. You don't have to call me Headmistress? Well, I know, but it combines my two favorite words. <laughs> <laughs> Coleman! I find it hard to believe that you're a Broadway director. I never pegged you as a man of any great ambition. Well, I have you to thank for that, Mr. Hayward. Without your constant discouragement, I never would have found my true creative path. Bellissimo. <laughs> I'm watching you, Coleman. <laughs> this must pale in comparison to the theaters you usually work in. Well, I have directed on some of the grandest stages in all the world. Oh. But be it the West End or the Great White Way, I only know these wooden planks by one name. Home. <laughs> well, uh, if you'll excuse me, my young charges await. Hello, boys. I'm your drama teacher, Jamie Coleman. Well, let me say up front that my method of teaching allows the students a great deal of freedom. Each of you should choose a character to work on during class time. My character will be hung over man taking a nap. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, any questions? Yes. Will this class help us get into an Ivy League school? <laughs> Boys, do you have any idea why we study drama? The same reason we do volunteer work, to make admissions officers think we're real well-rounded. <laughs> no. We study drama to impress chicks. <laughs> My dad said there'll be plenty of time for girls when I'm older. Oh, come on. I was your age once. Don't tell me you don't think about girls. I thought about Amelia Earhart once, but that's only because I was doing a paper on aviation. My God, you people are so serious. You're like a bunch of tiny Ted Koppels. You, what's your name? Charlie. Charlie Atwood. Now, Charlie, what's your favorite TV show? Oh, I never watch TV. 
Has this nation abandoned its children? <laughs> Oh, it's a game. Oh, what a surprise. You brought a game. Yeah, you know, one of those things with uh, winners and losers. I love charades. Can we play? Uh, yeah? I, I don't know, Katie. I, I'm, I'm just worried that if one of us sucks, then the other one will never forgive her. <laughs> Relax. I am great at charades. OK, we'll start. Pick one for us. OK. And go. A book. Uh, oh, 12 o'clock. Good. Bad. Oh, midnight in the garden of good and evil. That's it! <laughs> wow. Six seconds. Uh -huh. You guys are good. Okay, our turn. Okay, go. Uh, uh, forehead, forehead, big forehead, Rosie O'Donnell. I'm thinking. That's it, no talking. Ten second penalty. Okay, 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 I got it. Uh, another 10 second penalty. Uh, it's a movie. Yes, Katie, that's a sign for a movie. No, it's an organ grinder. Another penalty. Time is up. It was Sleepless in Seattle. There was no organ grinder in Sleepless in Seattle. Oregon? Oregon? Oregon's next to Washington? <laughs> Seattle is in Washington. Sleepless in Seattle? Duh. <laughs> Jamie, charades. Okay. What's this? Oregon. Oregon. Washington. George Washington. Delaware River. River Dam. Sounds like jam. Pearl Dam. Seattle. Sleepy's in Seattle. <laughs> Anyway, Katie and I lost at charades last night, but we didn't just lose, we got spanked. Oh, so the evening wasn't a total waste. <laughs> God, I hate losing to that guy. Well, you know, I got my own problems. I gotta find a way to get through to these kids. What, they don't want to study? I can't get them not to. <laughs> I mean, they never lighten up. They're, they're obsessed with their grades. God. You know, maybe it's the old man and me talking, but these career-minded punks are gonna ruin everything my slacker generation fought for. Today, we're gonna learn about a great American, a man from humble beginnings who rose to the very pinnacle of power, a hero, a leader, and above all, a friend to the black man. Any ideas who that is? Abe Lincoln. Close. Dean Martin. How was he a great friend to the black man? Sammy Davis Jr. <laughs> Brenda, 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 calm down. What is it? You, you just got back from the dentist. You, you had your wisdom teeth pulled. Uh, there's a big, hairy spider in your kitchen. And you want me to kill it for you? Okay. I'll be right there, Brenda. It's just one thing I gotta take care of. Hey, Craig. How about a rematch? <laughs> with my new girlfriend. The new kids are at a crossroads here. Sure, you could continue joylessly plugging along, go on to college, maybe even find a cure for cancer. But where's the fun in that? But you have to work hard if you want to make something of yourself. Wrong! <laughs> Dino teaches us that you can be successful and still enjoy yourself. He golfed six days a week and still amassed a fortune of over $50 million. Yeah. <laughs> I want everybody to take out a number two pencil. Come on! Finally, a test. No! I want you to snap it in half. Come on. Come on. I'm going to teach you kids how to hold a cigarette. <laughs> now, Dean didn't hold it here. No. He held it here. 
Do you see how much cooler that is? Doesn't that make it harder to smoke? You don't smoke them. These things will kill you. I mean, just listen to him sing. You're nobody till somebody loves you. I mean, he's You're barely trying. All he's thinking about is getting out of the studio and back to the three B's. Booze, broads, and blackjack. Mr. Coleman, can I loosen my tie and throw my jacket over my shoulder? You certainly can. I want you kids to run up to the front of the class and grab a martini glass. Come on. I'm going to teach you kids how to work a room. Right, slow down. No need to rush. You want to ease into the mingo. Charlie, wh what's the matter? This is all we're doing today. Do you mind if I study for my Spanish test? But don't you want to learn how to dance with a cocktail like the other children? I can't, Mr. Coleman. I'm the man of the family. And my mom depends on me to get into a good college so I can find a decent job. But when you come home from that decent job, you're going to need a stiff drink. <laughs> oh, come on, I'm kidding. Don't you ever laugh? I'm sorry, Mr. Coleman. I really have to study for this test. A whole day of beauty at the spa? Not that you need it. <laughs> uh, I booked you for Friday. You are such a good boyfriend. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, hi, Steve. Brenda, I I've got a friend coming in to play charades this Friday night, and I, I just found out that Katie can't make it. Would you mind filling in? Oh, sure. I love charades. Great. <laughs> It's a bad plan, but it's all I got. <laughs> Angie Dickinson comes over to your pad. You start to make her a drink. Suddenly, you realize you're out of gin. All the bars are closed. What would Dino do? Mr. Olson. It's a trick question. Dino would never run out of gin. <laughs> you're coming along fine, Ralph. All right, Mr. Atwood, this one's for you. It's really easy. Now. You're in Vegas with a special lady friend. When Frank Sinatra calls, he's doing a show at the Copa in New York, and he wants you to open for him. What do you do? I'm not sure. Well, think, Charlie, think. <laughs> Tell Frank you'll do it some other time. My God, son, are you trying to get yourself killed? Come on, anybody else? Tell the broad to beat it and head to New York. Chop, chop. <laughs> if it weren't against the school rules, I'd hug you boys. <laughs> All right, tomorrow we learn why we treat tramps like ladies and ladies like tramps. No running. Well, Mr. Hayward, have you come to kiss the feet of greatness? No, Coleman. I came to wish you good luck on your performance tomorrow night. What performance? A show of all you've been working on in your class. The idea occurred to me as I was getting my underwear down from the flagpole. <laughs> I suggested the idea to Headmistress LeClaire, and she loved it. <laughs> You're a fraud, Coleman. Now the whole school will know it, too. OK, he wants a show? I'll put on a show. How hard can it be? Shakespeare. Give me a cup of sack. Rogue, is there no virtue extant? I don't have time to get this stuff translated. You OK, Mr. Coleman? Here you go, kid. Something to remember me by. here. I thought you had school today. They called my bluff. Discovered my one weakness as a director. I have absolutely no idea how to stage a theatrical production. 
I guess you learned a very important lesson. Yep. I should have quit after I shagged the headmistress. <laughs> you know what the sad part is? I think I was finally starting to get through to those kids. Well, look, Jamie, you're just going to have to accept it. I mean, these kids are going to grow up to be upstanding members of society. And there's not a damn thing you can do about it. Hey, Charlie, what are you doing here? I came by to thank you. Come on in. What's, what's going on? I went home last night and listened to that Dean Martin record. Then I made my mom a martini like he taught us. <laughs> and we danced till 3 a.m. I haven't seen my mom that happy since my dad left. Well, that's great, kid. Listen, Mr. Coleman, the guys and I want you to come back to school and help us put on that show. But, but there's not enough time, Charlie. I mean, we haven't rehearsed anything. You said Dean Uncle put together his show in a day. And that ran nine years. Yeah, but he had the gold diggers to help him. It's not that easy, son. I guess Mr. Hayward was right. Discipline and hard work really do matter. No. <laughs> Don't ever think that. Never. You hear me? Then what do you say? I say we're going to put on the best damn show that school's ever seen. All right. So your mom's single, huh? <laughs> So what play are you putting on, Mr. Coleman? Yes, Coleman, we're dying to know. Well, it's a classic American fable about corruption, greed, and lust. And above all, hope. <laughs> Hello, folks, and welcome to the D. Martin Show. I see three audiences here, so I'm going to play to the one in the middle. Gee, I wonder who that could be. Why, it's Sammy Davis Jr. John Charles Davis can't miss he. Come on in, Sammy. The water's fine. Frank Sinatra will be here any minute now. Sorry I'm late. I had to get a showgirl for Kennedy. <laughs> He's real nice, dude. You take a bath. Why? Is one missing? <laughs> you boys feel like singing? Are you kidding? My voice is so sexy, the frog in my throat just got pregnant. <laughs> First, let's get a drink. Here's your Kool-Aid, fellas. Thanks, Dane. <laughs> Get this one, you, uh, you win. Uh, I'm sorry, Craig, what was that? You win, okay? Go. Uh, uh, uh ketchup, uh, a mustard, uh, uh, a custard's last stand. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? Oh, Kay Katie, this isn't what it looks like. You got rid of me so you could play charades with Brenda. Oh, I guess it is what it looks like. We're coming out of the end of our show. We had a special request for this song, but we're gonna do it anyway. Keep on drinking! Let us play your stinking! The show looks good to you! This is the most shocking debacle I've ever seen. I know. <laughs> Look, Katie, I'm sorry I dumped you for Brenda, but I won! For the first time in my life, I beat that snotty little weasel, which is pretty great news. Don't you agree? <sighs> Come on, Katie, say something. I'm sleeping alone tonight. Uh-oh, for two nights. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, for a whole month. 
See, Katie, that's great. We can communicate. All right, gentlemen. I don't know what Mr. Coleman has been teaching you, but he is no longer with us. So today we learn about theater. Theater is the art of... Yes? I'm sorry, I just came to get my martini glasses. <laughs> Should I come back later? Or... No, no, this is fine. Just take them and leave, please. Gentlemen, here. Now, we'll learn about acting. Acting is about discipline. It is a craft that can be learned... At Booze, the broads, and blackjack! Sit down, Mr. Atwood! Booze, broads, and blackjack! Mr. Banks! Booze, broads, and blackjack! Thank you, boys. Thank you very much. <laughs>